Not many people know this, but I used to be an engineer. This building over here, Armstrong Hall, was where I slaved for half of my time here at TCNJ. Little did I know that my success was at the neighboring building, Kendall Hall. This old, smelly communications building was actually where I'd find myself and many of the people who I stick around with today. So I decided one time I'd go down the basement of this smelly building. I'd go down the basement and I would go into what is known as WTSR. When I first walked into the radio station, I didn't really know what to expect. I mean, I walked in and I noticed these arcade machines in the corner, and then I look over and I see a DJ in the distance, currently on air, just playing music, and I really thought, is that gonna be me? Starting out with WTSR, I didn't really know what to expect or where it would take me. All I knew was that, well, that's a weird sign, so I guess I'm gonna have fun here? Anyway, I guess a little bit of background would just be that WTSR here is a radio station and what they do is they mostly play a lot of indie alternative music and they also have a lot of performances, some live, some in studio, just a lot of opportunities with music. Soon I myself was one of those DJs on air after going through both a written and a practical test was certified and that's what I do now here at WTSR. There was a bunch of music for me to play and really filter through and eventually find my favorites. And aside from music, I've made a lot of friends too, a lot of nice people also playing music, and we just got to know each other over a period of time. WTSR also kind of helped me really make a future for myself as I became the public relations director, but then I also got an internship with New Jersey 101.5, which is a local radio station in Ewing. So I guess, in a way, all the bunch of music in the station and really just WTSR as a whole kind of helped me for the future. I came into this college and I was just ready for engineering. I didn't really have a future set out or planned, but now that I've switched to communications, I have more of a, more of a focus. Who knew by talking into a microphone I'd find a love for editing and just cutting up that footage and really making a personality. I developed a voice for myself and really a character to go with it, someone who I am today and I'm proud to be. The main thing I want to take away from this is that I'm happy to be in WTSR, I'm happy I found it, and I'm happy to be a communications major. I wake up every day and I actually want to go in my classes and then, oh wow, that's a really nice crew neck you got there, oh man, there he goes out and about. I remember when I made the switch from engineering to this and I, I thought to myself, is this something I could like, do? for the rest of my college career and then next thing you know i'm doing it right now just recording my voice over the air and to be honest i couldn't be happier